I often wonder if the lessons from Party Pooped are applicable as they were presented, and if I'm wrong for placing limitations on when we should exhibit this type of hospitality. The times they are a changeling further reinforces these questions. While the Yaks have proven that they can be reasoned with, the changelings are shown to be a conniving and malicious group that are being led by an extremely ambitious leader who conquers, feeds, and destroys wantonly in every medium of friendship is magic. With that in mind, everyone's prejudice in regards to Thorax is completely understandable, even if everyone there didn't already have scarring personal experiences with changelings. But nonetheless, Thorax is an individual and was born an anomaly among his kind. He understood this and was clearly fighting his own nature throughout the episode. However, for me, and I hope for everyone else, this only reinforces the fact that everybody should be judged on their own merits, regardless of where they come from. But even though these are simple facts that most people know already, if you look around, or even within yourself, you may be surprised at how often simple facts get neglected. Take a moment to think about this next series of questions. Pause the video if need be, and I'd love to see your answers in the comments once you finish watching the video. How many people do you know who exhibit some form of explicit bigotry? How many people do you think hide their prejudices? Why do people have these biases? How many prejudices do you have yourself, and why do you have them? The hypocrisy of holding prejudices while claiming that you don't is all too common, and eventually this causes those predispositions to come out with much more potent venom, often causing us to spread as much hate as we may accuse others of spreading. But, similarly to what about Discord, if this can be acknowledged, then real change can begin. To answer the questions myself, I have known a few racist people. Some have no basis for their bigotry, but others have experiences which create their biases. I don't understand it, but I also only believe in one human race. However, this doesn't mean that I don't have biases myself in terms of demographics that have nothing to do with what most others would call race, and some of them come from similar experiences that made Shining Armor wary of Thorax. But just because I've seen repeated patterns of destruction in certain types of people, that doesn't mean that anyone I know now inside those demographics are guilty of the same, nor is it my place to judge them even if they are. Making peace with this is a skill that has taken a lot of practice and still requires a lot of practice. But this ability is important because it prevents you from becoming a hypocrite, which will hamper your ability to do good in the world through both affecting your judgment and the way you treat others, as well as delegitimizing any ideas of peace that you may claim to stand for. Imagine the case of Thorax and the citizens of the Crystal Empire. Thorax, despite being changeling, came in peace and he was suffering. But everyone who could have helped him refused to do so because of what he was. Quite frankly, whether or not someone deserves to be saved because of what they are, that is not your judgment to make. If you have an ability to help someone, it is your responsibility to do so without bias. Thus, if they continue to suffer or die from your neglect, then you share responsibility for that loss. It's also entirely possible that they return your biases for ultimately similar reasons. If you cannot show them the love that they deserve as a human being, then you will only cement and reinforce those biases in their perspective. This is what Spike learned when he had a chance to stand up for Thorax, but gave it up to maintain his own reputation. Doing so made him realize that he had failed his friend, possibly did irreparable damage, and lost a chance to reach out and understand someone he didn't understand before. The guilt of that concept far outweighed anything that would have been gained by maintaining his good standing with the Crystal Ponies. Only then was Spike able to correct his path, reconcile with Thorax, and do what was necessary to help others learn the same lesson. But for now, we can understand that Spike was willing to risk losing the respect and reputation he treasured in order to help his new friend live a better life and to help his other friends understand him better. If when our enemy is thirsty and we give him water to drink despite our predispositions, 
treat everyone as an individual, and be the reason that those with biases against us are unfounded in their beliefs, then maybe we can do the same. And that's the moral of the story. If you have a topic you would like to hear discussed, you can drop your suggestions by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to bronydebates at gmail.com. Feel free to check out my Patreon to see how you can support my channel and what you'll get in return. This video was sponsored by Irish John's Short Films and Animations as well as all of my other generous supporters. Have a great day and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.